Mars, and once again, we have the usual type of violence and insanity going along with Black Friday. You people just, some of you people just don't get it. You go and shop for all these presents and trying to buy people's loyalty. You don't, you don't understand, apparently, what the holiday is all about, what Christmas is all about. If you did, you wouldn't be doing this. Now, I'm not going to get into religion here. I tend to think that there was some... Uh, my personal opinion is that there was some serious alien involvement in the Christmas story, but I can't prove it, of course. Especially the Star of Bethlehem. Anyway, uh, you're missing the uh, whole point of this. How did this gift-giving thing uh, come about? Well, if you look in the Christian Bible, three wise men, also, also known as Magi, these were probably Persians, and they came from the East, and they stopped in Jerusalem and asked the king because they wanted to worship the Christ child. And they, Herod told them to go to Bethlehem, and they followed the star that they had seen in the east, only it wasn't a star. I've estimated it couldn't have been much higher than probably 1,000, 1,500 feet up. There wasn't no star. I'm not saying it wasn't an angel, and I'm not saying it wasn't an alien device, but I'm saying it wasn't the celestial objects can't uh, travel from the east and then turn south. They can't do that. That just won't work. So, uh, the Magi followed this to the house where Jesus was. Not the manger. It, they played, Jesus was placed in the manger. But, he didn't stay in there for three months waiting for people to arrive. Obviously, they moved into a house. That's according to Matthew. They went and they worshipped the baby Jesus. And they gave him gifts. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That's what the Magi did. My uh, 2018 season opener on Mars Station actually deals with us. I only show two Magi because I don't want to spend uh, money on a third, but you get the picture. It's biblical accuracy mixed with some pretty heavy-hitting science fiction. That's how this whole thing came about, though, was these three Magi going to the baby Jesus, worshiping him, and giving him all these gifts. They didn't go out to Walmart and get in a fist fight. They didn't go out and throw, calling this uh, thing, they didn't throw shoes at people and hit babies and things of that nature. This is disgusting. Take a look at another, another fight. Uh, Opens over outside of the mall in Missouri. Rawls close at Alabama Shopping Center is Black Friday begins. This is as bad as Antifa. 
uh, one person was shot outside the Missouri Mall. mall. The swarms of shoppers looking for Black Friday deals. So I can't pop up throughout the country. I'm almost something to think that. You know, the rest of the year, the world, the country seems to be headed towards communism. But on this one day, it seems to have the exact opposite direction towards capitalism. Not a good type of capitalism either. This is disgusting, folks. If you want to remember what the holiday is about, remember the story that I just told of the Magi. Trekking hundreds of miles through desert. Snake infested desert with gifts for the baby Jesus. They went to the house where the baby Jesus was. They knelt down and they worshipped him. The story bothers even me, an agnostic. I tend to get a little emotional thinking about it, to be honest with you. So, when you think, stop acting like animals, folks. Those of you who are doing this, most people are being reasonable, I understand that. But this has got to stop. You're not honoring Jesus Christ, you're not honoring Christmas, you're acting like animals is what you're doing. Those of you who are acting like this, not everybody is only a small number of people. You're not honoring the holiday at all. You're not celebrating Christmas. You're being sick and demented. The Piggy Award goes out to those who act like this. I want to thank Mars. Thanks for watching.